Hi, and welcome to week 16 of World History 2. So this is the first week of term two, the second semester. And uh, it's important to start off this week by reflecting on our recent midterm exam. So our first session will be dedicated to a comprehensive review where we will delve into the key concepts and address any questions or concerns that you may have uh, had about the exam. The lesson plan for our review will include a thorough analysis of the, of the exam questions, emphasizing both correct answers and possibly common misconceptions. Uh, the process aims to provide clarity on challenging topics and enhance your understanding of the material. Additionally, we're going to engage in interactive discussions, allowing you to actively participate in the review process. So please come prepared and come with a willingness to collaborate so we can reinforce our comprehension of the material. And I'm confident that the review will be valuable and that it will help set you up for the remainder of this second semester. So as for the content that we'll be covering this week, the material, so we'll be delving into key themes that shaped uh, 19th century Europe, focusing on the goals of conservatives and liberals, the impact of liberty, equality, and nationalism on political revolutions, the causes and outcomes of the revolutions of 1830 and 1848, and the sources of growing discontent in Latin America, including the influence of Enlightenment ideals. So we'll begin with an exploration of the competing goals of two types of ideologies, conservatism and liberalism in 19th century Europe. We'll analyze how these two groups approached issues such as political authority, social structure, and economic policy. Conservatives sought to uphold traditional institutions and maintain order, while liberals aimed to promote individual freedoms, constitutional governments, and social equality. By comparing their objectives, we gain insights into the ideological clashes that defined this transformative period and one that is very relevant today. Moving forward, we'll, exam we'll examine the profound impact of liberty, equality, and nationalism on political revolutions. These powerful ideas played a central role in inspiring movements for change across Europe. We'll explore how these ideals influenced revolutionary thinkers and activists, fueling movements that sought to redefine political structures, challenge social hierarchies, and forge national identities. Our analysis will provide a nuanced understanding of the intellectual underpinnings of 19th century revolutions. Then, uh, in the penultimate day of the week, we'll turn our attention to the specific events of the revolutions of 1830 and 1848. So these periods witnessed widespread upheaval as people across Europe sought political change and social change. So think of the Arab Spring of 2011, for example. We'll dissect the causes that triggered these revolutions, ranging from economic grievances to calls for, a cons for constitutional reform. Additionally, we're going to take a look at the outcomes, evaluating the short-term and long-term effects on European societies and governments. Uh, our week is going to conclude with an examination of the causes of growing discontent in Latin America during the 19th century, emphasizing the influence of Enlightenment ideas. So, from economic disparities to social injustices, we'll identify the factors that fueled discontent across the region. Moreover, we'll discuss how these ideals, such as individual rights and representative government, contributed to the aspirations for independence and social change in Latin American colonies. So to wrap up, uh, I hope this was comprehensive enough to, um, to be a preview for the upcoming week. Um, and I look forward to working with you all and seeing you all in class as we move forward. So thank you very much and I'll see you soon.